good morning it is time for a new vlog and i am taking my first vaccine shot today which i'm so excited and i'm just hoping that i don't get any major um side effects from the vaccine so i know a lot of people have a lot of different things hopefully i don't get any influenza like um symptoms because that would suck but I'm taking my vaccine at 9.30 today, it's 7.42 now, and I'm working until I have to leave and then after, obviously. So I'm just going to post a post on Facebook on behalf of our local union, and then um, I have basically like very easy tasks today, which is nice if my if I get a headache or a really sore arm or something after the vaccine it's nice to not have to worry about that um that i have to call customers and stuff today so great timing on that and then on sunday we are seeing a house again which i am also very very ready for um it is so hot in here i slept we kicked out molly of the bedroom yesterday because she can't go outside and we had to open the window because it was so hot and then she started clawing at the door and she wouldn't stop because she's used to being able to sleep in the bedroom with us which obviously that is on us It's 9.15 and I'm headed to the vaccine center to get my first COVID vaccine. I'm not sure if I'm getting Pfizer or Moderna, so I guess I'll find that out today. But we don't use AstraZeneca anymore, which is the only one that I didn't want. And Johnson & Johnson, maybe. So, it's not sunny today, which is weird. It's like completely clouded. I took my vaccine earlier and I feel fine. I am a little bit sore in the shoulder, but nothing more than that, which is great. I am at work and we have some union business with some paychecks and stuff. And <sighs> yeah, I just, it's a lot. And I have training that I haven't had yet and I'm gonna have that in, September and November, hopefully, and I just feel like I need it now. Like, I'm the leader of the union, and I don't really have a lot of experience. Um, I, I haven't had any training in a lot of the things that we need to do. Um, and sometimes it just feels a little bit overwhelming, which is the case right now. So... Other than that, I'm just looking forward to the house. I'm also looking at a new van. She already lost it under the couch. It's been like half an hour. Let's see if we can find it. Mm. I see. 
saved it. Good morning, good morning. My arm is still a little bit sore, but otherwise I feel fine. And it's Friday today, which is even better because it's the weekend and I don't have any plans this weekend apart from the house that we're seeing on Sunday. Cinnamon roll. Low calorie coffee. That cinnamon roll thing. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Because it's so... It's so overpowering. Like fake sweet. If you know what I mean. Look at her. the new toy that came in the mail for her yesterday. Yes. It's very cute. Yeah, it's very cute. Yes, it's so cute. <laughs> hey. for the weekend. I'm also ready to be for some more houses to be posted because there hasn't been posted. She flew right into her food bowl. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. Hi. What did you do? What did you do? Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean up after you now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to help clean up? No? <laughs> hey guys! I am some random place uh, in Hönefoss and I just exchanged a cutting with someone who lives here. So I gave her one of my skin dapses picked this and she gave me a mother of thousands. So I'm now headed to Evelyn and I'm gonna give her a cutting of the skin dapses picked this as well. Yeah, it's Friday night. I don't really have any plans. Um, just this little cutting and I don't know how long I'm gonna stay at Evelyn's. She said like, can I get <laughs> that cutting? And then I'm gonna head out to meet Marius, who just went, um, well, he went down to fix some stuff with the car, but I know he was going out to meet some friends later, so I'm probably gonna meet up with them.
So here is the mother of thousands and it gets it gets these little babies along the side and then they drop into the soil and then they make little baby plants like these ones. Super super cute and it's supposed to be really easy to grow, really easy to make babies from. Okay, so I had these wet sticks for in here for a while, and I think it's just too much soil. So I'm gonna move them into these little plastic containers. Hey guys, I am headed out to pick up a book that I ordered as Click and Collect. And also I have to buy some groceries. I still need new sneakers because I didn't find any when I was out with Elisa. And yeah, just feel like getting out of the house a little bit. It's four o'clock basically. So I'm just gonna head out. this to try and now I'm just drilling. Hey guys, I'm sitting in the trunk of my car and I'm having lunch because I, as you know, have been obsessed with camping for a while. Um, like since I, well, I sold my camper last year in, like in the winter. And then ever since it started being warm enough to actually be outside, I have been wanting a new one. And since we're looking at a house and all that stuff, I have been um, not wanting to buy an expensive one if I'm going to buy one. So I was thinking maybe I could just sleep in my car because I have a station wagon so it's like fairly roomy. I just put this seat down and there's definitely room for one person in here but if I'm gonna have room to actually sit upright in the back I have to sit very far back. So this is the view with uh, the river that's going through Hønefoss. That is Gledeshuset and then 
last time I showed you this island it was all submerged in water it's a lot calmer now there's also a lot of ducks here so cute and then I have my lunch here and then I just bought this book uh, this is Round Trip Norway with Helena Mo, which is a an Instagrammer who usually sleeps in her car. Um, so I picked this up because it seems very interesting. I'm gonna have my lunch and enjoy the view. But I do feel like for a proper like camping, this car wouldn't be great. Like for sleeping in it one night or two, it's fine. But not for something actually proper because I can't even sit upright. So I can imagine what it would be like for someone taller than I am. Um, not great. So for camping in the station wagon, it's not really a great option because there's no way to open the um, tailgate, is that right? Um, from the inside, which means that it is a lot more annoying than it has to be. You can still obviously go out through the side doors, but it's a little bit more annoying when the seats are down, so it's not really a great option. We're on our way to see a house. Hey guys, we just got back from seeing the house in Tiristan. And if I'm being honest, it was kind of underwhelming. So I don't think that's gonna be a house that we bet on for several reasons. A little update, Mary's is downstairs because his handle on the car stopped working when we were out. So I'm gonna start editing my video. And then we're gonna barbecue tonight, which I am actually very ready for. So I bought potatoes and carrots and paprika and onions and we have some broccoli and I have some vegan chorizo and some falafel and the hummus and I'm really ready for some proper barbecue food. But first, some editing. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Aren't cats supposed to be graceful? Huh? Aren't cats supposed to be graceful? This is my breakfast for today. It's leftovers from barbecuing yesterday. I have some cold uh, iced coffee right here. And then we have a large potato, vegan chorizo, carrots, broccoli, artichokes, onions, and peppers in this here. So, yum. Yeah, so the house that we saw yesterday, we are not placing a bid on it. Um, there has been several bids. And the bidding is now up to... 3 million and 1,000, which is a really random number. Um, but yeah, like I said, we are not bidding on it. But we are going to see a house on Tuesday the 22nd, which is beautiful. It has a jacuzzi outside. It has a wine cellar inside. Um, three bedrooms, I think. Beautiful outdoor area. It's also really close to... 
like it's in a central area so there's like a walking distance to a grocery store and it just seems really nice and pretty so i'm really excited to see what it's like when we go to see it but obviously that's like a week from now i'm just gonna enjoy my last half hour of freedom before i work for eight hours watch some more tv and eat my breakfast and then I'll share if anything exciting happens. I'm also going to try to get back into my weekly weigh-ins. I haven't done them in a while and I think I'm going to do a separate video on why. Yeah, I'm going to do something separate on that so I'm not going to be rambling about my weight loss things in this vlog. Ja, det kan man få hvis man ønsker. Vi har jo flere forskjellige typer, men da er det den facett, den som er litt skrå. So, I mentioned the house that we're gonna see next week, which I think is absolutely beautiful, and they actually have a video on here, so I'm gonna show you that video so that you can see what it actually looks like. don't know how easy that was to see but the jacuzzi and the wine cellar and the pergola I don't know if that is even a word in English um, and the kitchen is pretty um, I like it a lot probably gonna go above asking price but everything does so that wouldn't really be a surprise <laughs> I'm just working and then I have a coffee date with a friend later today. So I'm gonna drive to Sambika after work and we're gonna grab coffee and it's gonna be nice. And on Friday I get paid which is also really nice. I'm just having some breakfast. I have a customer appointment in 15 minutes so rather not be hangry if that conversation takes a while. <laughs> <laughs> 